Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. So as dads, when you go fishing, you spend a lot of time thinking about how to get the fish to bite, but you don't really think about how mechanically the fish do the bite. Does that make any sense? So today on Smarter Every Day, we're gonna go to James Cook University in Australia and look at how a fish bite takes place in slow motion using a phantom camera. You're getting smarter every day. Okay, so how do fish eat? So they suck food in, but they have to generate that flow, right? Are oh, you talking to me? Yes, Sorry. I am, Dr. Seymour. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do two things at once here. <laughs> All right, so we've got a big tank of barramundi. Am I saying that right, Richard? Mm hmm Why do you have a stick and a string here? Okay, this is the stick of death. This is what we use to feed everything with. Right. So if we hold that over tank on the water, then you'll be able to focus on that, and you'll be able to see the barramundi come out. Okay, got it. Uh, actually create that flow inwards? Are they like increasing the chest cavity somehow? It's the buccal cavity of the mouth. So what? So the buccal cavity, the mouth, so they'll open their perculum, which are the gill flaps, and they open their mouth wide, and that sucks the water in. So they're basically producing a vacuum behind them. Buccal cavity? Yep. When they open their mouth, why does flow not come in the gills? Because they open the front first. So you'll have a look, and you see it on high speed. They'll open here, yeah. and then that'll go. And they'll push all the water, then comes back out through the back of the gills. When you see it on the high speed, so that's it will how make they. Sense. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just had that moment where I figured it out. So, Ta -da. yeah, <laughs> make sure I did this right. So the fish opens his mouth, yep, and he starts flow in. Yes. So you have fluid momentum going in, and then he still has momentum going in. And if he doesn't get rid of that somehow, it'll push him backwards. So, yep. So when it goes in, after he gets it in his mouth, then he opens his gills and he releases that momentum. Yes. Shut up! Yeah, I've been fishing my whole life. And I didn't know that. And you'll see it on the high speed. Really? Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Do it out here in the light. Yeah. Oh! Oh! So the fish is coming up to the, the food, and instead of accelerating the whole body to grab the food, fish have a very complex mouth where they can throw the jaws forward. So instead of throwing the whole body mass forward, at the last moment you have this very complex mouth of all these bones that just opens up. So it closes that gap with the prey uh, a lot quicker and a lot easier. Okay, so, so he doesn't have to accelerate the mass of his whole body, just no, the front just jaws. The jaws. And so when the jaws are thrown forward, as Jamie explained, it's creating this huge volume and the water has to rush into it and then out through the gills. And so you get this suctual feeding. That's awesome. So yeah, so it's suction feeders, ram feeders you can call them. That was awesome, really. Yeah, do all fish Do all fish do this? No. No, there's mo only a few fish actually suck their prey in because these guys don't have teeth as such. Okay. So, teach me the terminology. So there's the buccal cavity. Which is the mouth. Yep. They open the buccal cavity and then they open the gills. The gills. Or, or it's the opercular flap. So the gills are behind this flap. So when that's closed off, the only entrance is in through the mouth. Water sucks in, then you've got to get rid of it somewhere. So you then open that out and it'll all float to the back end. Because you have to dissipate momentum. Yeah. Okay. James Cook University just taught me something about how fish eat. And I'm assuming you, does this work on like your goldfish in your, uh, like in your aquarium? Yeah, yeah same so sort of thing. When you put the flakes in, you're gonna see him open his mouth and then open the operculum mm -hmm. and dissipate that over the pectoral fin. Yeah, you're getting smarter every day. I'm Destin, have a good one. Have you caught anything yet? No, sir. Do you enjoy it anyway? Yes, sir. Do you wish we had an audio book to listen to? Yes, sir. Which one? Captain Neil. Pull, 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 son, pull it. We got a fish. There you go. Keep reeling it in. Ah. All right. Okay. 
He does. Let's let him eat that worm. So this is what happens. He opens his mouth right here. The water gets pulled into his mouth, and then he opens his gills after that, and he shoots the water out of that. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Hold on tight. Don't be scared. You ready? Now slowly let him back in the water. There you go. All right, so that's how fish eat. If you are interested in supporting more fishing trips and more episodes of Smarter Every Day, you can support us by going to audible.com slash smarter and getting a free audio book. Does that sound good to you? Yes, sir. What audio book do you recommend? Um, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. That's right. Where do we listen to that? In the car. That's right. So if you're interested in helping Smarter Every Day, Go to audible.com slash smarter, download a free audio book. You can get 20,000 leagues under the sea and you can help smarter every day. It'd be a real good thing. Anyway, thank you very much. Do you want to say thank you? Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, I'm Destin. And bye. And bye. I'm Destin. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one.